what's up everybody uh got a couple things i want to go over here today um got a couple different motors here i uh, got these from get fpv uh, these are the t motor uh velox uh i guess veloces uh booster editions um i saw these they actually sent me an email or a text saying that these ones were on sale so figured i haven't used t motors uh, and the sale that they had going on for 10 bucks a pop on get fpv figured yeah what the hell i'll try it um so i ended up picking up two different sizes um they're both 2206.5s uh they're just different kvs um 1750 as well as a 2550 um see here uh, not too much that you get in the box um, you get your uh, nut here you get the uh, couple different size nuts or bolts here um, in total so I go over the sizes okay cool I didn't see that in there before so you actually get the one for the bottom of the motor itself Pop these open just to show you guys what's what they look like here. So this is the motor itself. Um, I do like the color. Uh, you know, it's like a matte finish. Uh, it does have the booster edition with the FPV. So I'm guessing that these actually came in the FPV crate. Uh, not really too sure. I'm almost positive they did because it does have the logo. So I'm, I'm probably most likely that's where it came from. Uh, color I really like uh, the top of it actually kind of reminds me of like those old early 90s Mustang rims <laughs> when I first saw it it kind of reminded me of that uh, really nice color to them you know with the matte finish they look really sharp get a weight on these these are make sure this is dialed up in grams so with the mo just the motor and the top nut, you're looking at 33.7 grams. Uh, so, pretty decent, you know, weight motor. You do get extra parts, like I said. You get the bottom one here uh, to hold everything together, which is pretty nice. I know some motor manufacturers don't have that. They don't even give you the C-clips, which is kind of a pain. And they do give you C8, so in case, in the event that they do go out on you uh, you lose one you get extras I like these a lot better compared to the uh, button top ones and I just dropped one there you go that's why they give you extra compared to the button tops because as these wear down you tend to get a better grip if you're sliding say on concrete or asphalt these tend to wear out much easier compared to the button ones where if you do a lot of sliding bouncing off stuff these tend to wear out a lot quicker uh, so you get a lot better grip with these in the event they do wear down so that's kind of a nice thing as far as the overall specs on these uh the dimensions we're looking at 22 or 29.2 millimeters my fancy mic here so i'm actually getting a little bit a little bit lower here so 28.7 uh in the overall motor about 13 millimeters Standard size motor here, uh, standard you know dimensions as far as the frame. So it, this will fit on most of the frames that are out now, which is nice. Wire that they're using is 150 millimeters, and it's rated for. Where did I see that? It was oh the 20 20 gauge. The one thing I do like about this wiring too is that it's a softer wire compared to some of the other motor wires. I'm trying to think of an exact example. It's not as soft as the newbie drone motors, which I have had experience, and I do have that video as well. But it's a little bit stiffer, so you can it's a lot easier to work with, which is nice. Uh, other than that, the same dimensions, uh, four millimeter shaft, the internal resistance on these. Both of these uh, is a 45 milliamp hour. I wanted to get these ones because they were rated for a 6s, which is nice. You can and you can also drop down to a 4 or a 5s. And I wanted the uh, 2550s to run 4s for my racing drones. Get a lot. It has a little bit higher KV compared to the other ones. I'm running around 23 to 2400 KV, so I can probably get a little bit more speed. 
without sacrificing a lot of amp draw and a lot of current draw on my flight controller, which is nice. Peak current on both of these is 36.3 amps, and really other than that, there's not too much about this motor. Uh, we'll see how it performs. I'm going to get this mounted up, like I said, on one of my, uh, probably do another drone build on the source frame. I don't know if I've done a review on this frame yet, uh, but I'll throw them on here, see how that does. Uh, I just need to get a flight controller and a stack and throw these on and see what they do. But I'm probably going to take one of my current builds and swap the motors out and get some flight footage of that as well for you guys. So this is just kind of an unboxing and, and first uh, impressions of them. I don't really have any specs on the magnets. There's really not too much on GetFPV. I know that the V2s are running the N52 magnets. They're running a little bit... Uh, that's the only thing they really give you as far as spec-wise is just the magnets. But other than that, that's the motor, guys. If you guys have any questions, stay tuned because I will get some flight footage on here and show you guys what they look like on the drone.